Hey, what's up guys? This is Prefix Wiz here, and I'm excited to bring you yet another Unity tutorial. And today, I'll be showing you guys how to download and install Unity. Okay, so let's download and install Unity. Let's open up a browser. Uh, whether you're using Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Safari, doesn't matter. Just go ahead and open it up. And let's go to Unity 3D, if I can spell it correctly, dot com. All right. And uh, now we're on their main page. Uh, you'll see at the very top there you have products, solutions, made with Unity, learn, community, get Unity over here to the right. Uh, let me get my cursor over there. There it is. Uh, you get unity and asset store. You also have another button for get unity down here about halfway down the page uh, There's a lot of information to cover on this page alone, but we're not going to get into that today today We're going to talk about getting unity So we're going to go ahead and get uh, click on the get unity button uh, That'll bring us to a page where it actually shows you their product plan They have a free version they have a plus version and they have a pro version. The plus version is $35 a month, obviously. And right here, it tells you that it uh, has a free essentials pack. Well, let's go ahead and click on that so we understand what the essentials pack is. Now let's go down here and you see right here where it says Unity Pro and Unity Plus. Unity Pro on this side and Unity Plus on this side and then free right down the middle. Okay, it says one free essentials pack included. Remember that, one free essentials pack included. Now, this may change in the future, but for this tutorial, there's only one. But it also says subscribe today and choose one of these four packs. Okay, so you go down here to the bottom, and you have mobile essentials, 2D essentials, art design, and VR essentials. The essentials are really good. They are really good products. Um, it helps you get started in whichever uh, market you're in whether it's mobile, 2D, art design, or uh, VR. And they do help you. And you, let's say, choose mobile. You actually get everything that's down that left column in mobile. And then they actually have a learn more button for each one of those. So again, we're not going to get too deep into this right now. I just wanted to show you that there is a difference between them. In addition to the essentials pack and the differences between the plus and the personal are two noticeable and key features. With plus, you get a customizable splash screen. Otherwise, you'll have the default powered by Unity splash screen. You will need to upgrade to the Plus plan if you are selling your game or product and or raising funds of more than $100,000 annually. So let's go ahead and try Personal. All right, so takes us to the Download Unity Personal. And we can go down, and uh, you'll see about halfway down the page, uh, you're going to get the uh, please note. If your company currently makes more than $100,000 in annual gross revenue or has raised funds exceeding $100,000, you are not permitted to use Unity Personal. I always advise people to read Terms of Service. And then you can just click on Download the Installer. All right, so it's downloading. It already knows what system it needs to download for. And depending on what browser you use, you just open it up. So for me, I get the little Windows pop-up saying, uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? If you're using a different uh, system, you may get something a little different, but the concept is the same. Just click yes. Okay, so you just want to click next. And go ahead and read the terms of service again and click I accept or I have read the terms of service if you have done so. And then click next. And then it's going to ask you um, to choose components that you want to install with Unity. So you have a plethora of things that you could download with it. You got the standard assets, which is a great. I recommend that to everybody to download the standard assets with it the documentation you have uh, example projects so if you wanted to get that again everything that comes with unity on the download um, is free you can use the assets in your own projects I recommend just keeping their default selected and then clicking next 
All right, so when you get to this spot, you're going to have a place to download it to and a place to install it to. This is important because when it downloads, it's just going to download to a specific spot. But when it installs, it's going to install to another spot. Once you're comfortable with where you're going to download it and install it, go ahead and click Next. Once Unity is finished installing, you should get a pop-up window and a desktop icon similar to this. Hey, thank you for watching this video. I would love to hear your thoughts or ideas for future tutorials. Feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.